what's up people welcome back to sj's corner um do me a favor if you're new to the channel go ahead hit that subscribe button hit the notification bell so you're alerted when i post um i'm just coming with you with my first reactions from the ravens and uh chiefs game and oh my goodness bro like i'm not gonna say i'm shocked but man the ravens performance on offense especially was it was shocking it was shocking. I am shocked. You know what? I, I'm gonna admit I'm shocked. They they played so poorly. Probably the worst game I've seen them play all game all year. No, it has to be. It has to be. They played their worst football on offense at the worst possible time. Do you get what I'm saying? Like this game was 17, and I repeat, 17 to 7 at halftime. The Baltimore Ravens on defense held the Chiefs to zero points the entire second half. The entire second half, Pat Mahomes and the Chiefs did not score a single point. Do you get what I'm saying? And if this was a game where Pat Mahomes went crazy the entire game and they beat the Ravens outright, sure enough, you know, maybe they can stomach that a little bit. But the way the Ravens gave away this game on offense, like, I, I've not seen anything like it from a team that was this dominant an entire season. Did you get Now, right off the jump, right? On second down, first drive of the game, he breaks the pocket and he has a first down run. A first down run, but he chooses to slide. I'm like, okay, like, I get it if this was the regular season, but, bro, this is the AFC Championship game, bro. You need to go out there and set a tone. Ain't no, ain't no tomorrow if you lose today. Like, Ain't, ain't no reason to save your body. You get after if you win this game, you get like two weeks rest before you play again, right? So you gotta, you know, go everything, everything, everything. Third down, Aguilar drops the ball. Perfect pass, hit him in the hands, he dropped it. You get now. Papa Holmes gets the ball, drives the entire field, and puts up six. Okay, and now Baltimore is down seven. Just let him know you ain't got time to warm up. Like you gotta start playing your best ball. As soon as they blow that whistle, G because Mahomes is coming for next. You know, he's never been in a situation like this where he's been um on the away end, especially during the playoffs. I believe this was the first the, the first game he played in the playoffs away was based against the Bills, and this is the second game. So they're relishing this villain role that they're playing in right now. And I just felt like the Ravens, especially in offense, were a little too casual for my liking. They they kept acting like this was the Houston Texans with a rookie quarterback. This is Andy Reid, Travis Kelsey, and Pat Mahomes. They've been here, done that. They understand the importance of coming out and setting out a tone. Right from the jump, especially on offense. And I, I felt like the Ravens offense did not did not do that enough. Okay? So move past the first first half, okay. They've been blitzing Lamar, but they're not seeming to be throwing the quick screens like they were in the second half against the Texans last week or the slants. I'm also asking myself, where the hell's OBJ? Where the hell's OBJ? OBJ didn't have a single target in this game till freaking the fourth quarter, damn near. Do you get what I'm saying? And OBJ in the entire offense of the Ravens has been the only one that has been in situations like this. In big time games and big time moments in the Super Bowl, he was performing until he tore his ACL. Do you get what I'm saying? No one else has been there, and this guy does not get a look at a pass till the fourth quarter. And it showed. It showed. You got Zay Flowers catching a deep ball, the first, well, the second explosive play of the game, because the first, the first uh deep pass he caught. Lamar made an amazing play, um, broke a tackle and hit him um while I was out running a linebacker and made a diving catch. It was a great play. But after that, it's just immaturity all over the offense. Immaturity all over the offense. Did you get Z Z Flowers catches like a 50, 45 yard bomb, gets tackled, right? Around the five or the six. Do you get me? Gets tackled at the five or the six. And then I get it. Like the, the Chiefs defenders holding on to your ankle a little bit. So you push him off. Fair enough. Gets up, spins the ball in his face, and flexes over him. And get surprised when they, they, they get called the flag off. You know, they were just so emotionally charged and they didn't know the time to reel it in. Reel it in. At that point, you were down 10. You were the red zone. You don't need no penalties. You don't need no penalties. Do you get that? Just the gamesmanship, they just fell short. 
especially on offense, man, especially on offense. You see Travis Kelsey chirping every single time he, he got given a little nudge to the Ravens defenders, but he never got penalized once because he understands. He knows when to do it and when not to. You know, he's a vet. Okay? Zay Flowers, after that taunting penalty, sends them 15 yard back, okay, which would have made their drive and life a lot more easier because they could have possibly got um, a touchdown like way quicker and, you know, they would have been out of there. Three point game if they, if they score. Did you get? Catches the ball in a wide open pass towards the end zone and he reaches out and Sneed comes in and makes a fantastic play, you know, knocks the ball out. And I don't want to, you know, take away from the play that Sneed made. But, bro, we saw it last week, and the Chiefs got away with it when uh, McCall Hardman stretched out the end zone and fumbled through the end zone, and it was a huge play. Like, at this point, where every single possession matter, and you've been finding it so hard to score all game. You know, you finally catch a break, and you're stretching the ball out. Like, you don't need to do that. You know, you don't need to do that, you know? And on top of that, he goes to the fucking sideline. I'm sorry, excuse my language. He goes to the sideline, Zay Flowers, starts flipping out, throws his helmet, smacks his helmet with his hand, and he cuts his hand. He has a laceration. He's bleeding all over the place. Brother, there's still a whole quarter left in the game. You need your hands, bro. And I'm here sitting, where are the coaches? Who is there to calm them down? Because Lamar, even any little thing, any little miss throw, Lamar was, you know, being animated. Oh, getting frustrated. Bro, it's a full quarter game. There's no reason for you to lose your composure. And they did a horrible job of managing that the game emotionally. Because I'm telling you, that's the way they lost the game. Kansas City didn't do anything to stop them from winning this game off, like, when the Ravens were offense, especially because the way the Ravens defense were playing, they were playing like the, the you know, the top defense that they are. Zero points allowed in that entire second half. And the Ravens turn over in the red zone with the, the, the flowers uh, uh, fumble. And then Lamar throws a loaf of bread. And you, you know what it is, right? Is Lamar had his one on one matchups on deep balls, Bateman, Aguilar. OBJ eventually when he started targeting him, I think OBJ got caught like three, four passes only in the fourth quarter and had no catches the entire fucking first three quarters. You get what I'm saying? He overthrew all these deep balls. Like he had no touch on them. He was just sailing them. Anytime the ball was about to get close to the receivers, two, three yards away from him. You know, and I'm a former receiver, right? I'm just thinking, just give me a chance, especially when it's one on one. The DBs are in trail. The worst you can do is you get a PI. Okay, so he gets in the red zone again after Aguilar runs a beautiful corner route, actually, and gets wide open, gets him the red zone. Okay, and he has likely, I believe, running down uh, the seam towards the post, and he throws it so short. He's been missing deep, okay, except this time when he misses short, there's three defenders around likely. You know, you can miss short when it's one on one coverage, like you've had all game, but you kept missing through the deep. But he on the throws and he gets picked. And that's why he's just like, bro. Like, I already thought the game was over when Zay Flowers fumbled in the red zone. It's just amazing that they even had a chance to possibly come back to this game because of how astounding that Ravens defense was. Like, I'm telling you, they are going to be so sick, sick to their stomach this offseason, man. Um, but yeah, man, I'm, I'm super disappointed because I did want the Ravens to win. I just hated the fact that it went up like this, playing the absolute worst ball they could have played. They, it was it was bad. It was bad, 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 bad. They didn't have a stretch of the game where it's like, okay, they looked really good. You know, it, it was bad. It was bad. So I'm wondering what they do now. Um, I, I don't know what the free agent situations are in the team and if they're going to be as good as they were this season, especially on that defense. But they're going to have to make some tough decisions, man. OBJ is the highest paid wide receiver and wasn't getting a target to the fourth quarter. Why? Why? Like, let him earn his money. He's the one that's been here and done this before, you know? And it just felt like the aura of the Chiefs, Andrew Reid, Travis Kelsey, Pat Mahomes, he got them a little tight on offense. But the defense stepped step up on the, on the Ravens. The, re, the defense on the Ravens did not deserve this L. I'll be real with you. They played lights out, especially that second half. Kyle Hamilton, oh, my goodness, what a superstar. He did not get flustered. 
Kelsey made some decent plays. Yeah, he will make that, especially when the Ravens are uh, zone defense. So Kelsey picks apart those. So he's going to get his his, his, uh, his catches and his yards. But overall, defensively, the Ravens played fantastic. Fantastic, fantastic football. And Lamar can't look at anybody except his teammates on offense and himself, you know, and the offensive coordinator. Because I, I didn't know what the plan for the blitz was three quarters of the game. You guys were just too slow to react. Too slow to react. And you, man, disappointed. You put up 10 points at home, bruh. You don't deserve to win. You don't deserve to win. You know, so, I mean, Lamar Jackson, let me just look at the stat line. 20 for 37, 272 yards, one touchdown, one interception, eight carries, 54 yards. And he could have been so much better. Like, you don't need to miss on all these throws. You could have been way more efficient. Do you know? Like, and that also comes from the play caller as well, giving him easy throws, like the like slants I'm talking about. Like, OBJ loves slants. What? He didn't catch a slant today. You know, screens, he didn't do that enough. Um, Pat Mahomes came out, especially in that first half. No, first quarter, I'd say, was on fire. Second half, defense of the Ravens kind of got their number a little bit. Into the rest of the game, they didn't do nothing. But Pat Mahomes, again, showing his greatness. 30 of 39, 241 yards. You know, you see the difference. Pat Mahomes throwing the ball 39 times, but only getting 241 yards. What does that tell you? A lot of quick screens, a lot of slants, a lot of option routes, dip and dunk. Did you get? They were not as even as great as Pat Mahomes was. It wasn't just like, oh, everyone run deep and just let everything be up to you. Like, yeah, it is what it is, man. They got to figure out how they're going to attack, especially the situation. Like I said, this is the first time being in it. But there's going to be a huge, huge media outcry calling out Lamar Jackson. The Ravens offense in general and the OC just with how they managed that game. That was that was bad. That was bad. So um let me know what you guys think um of that game. I think the Chiefs will be favored in the Super Bowl now. You get unless if the Fortniteers win, then they're probably gonna have a better, better game plan, I'm guessing, because Kyle Shanahan is very good at game planning. So um yeah, man, disappointing loss for the Ravens. I was pulling for them. I'm I'm supposed to stay neutral, but I was pulling for them, but you know, Chiefs again back at the Super Bowl, man. Just the inevitable happens again. You get so um again, go ahead, like, subscribe to the channel and share it. You get and yeah, let's move. <laughs>